Uh, Trudia just updated their FX collection and we have two new very interesting plugins. The first one, the DistTube Culture. We've seen it in the previous video. Today we see the second, the Dist Up Amp 21. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Best TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers. And of course, if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mix Best TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish, mastering courses and a lot more. And if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks down here, the new function and support the channel. Let's get to the video. All right, this plugin takes inspiration, let's put it this way, from a legendary pedal by Tech21 called Sansam Classic. This is not the first plugin that recreates that unit, but I happen to like Arturia FX a lot, so I have high expectations for this. And it's funny because in my years with the band, the Tech21 gear was a big part of our bass sound. My basses used to have the rack unit of the Tech21 Sansam, and it sounded absolutely amazing. And back then, I wanna say the vast majority of band that were somehow heavy in any different subgenre used either the pedal or the rack version. So let's take a look at this. We have the original controls, drive presence, high output and dry and wet. But like all the Arturia plugins, they gave us new and more modern functions. For example, we have four types of preamps, a modern, a normal, a lead and a bass mode. And at the bottom we have eight buttons to further shape the tone and the distortion. For example, the first one is a slight boost in the mid range, a more pronounced boost in the mid range, the third Third one leaves more low end pass through. And then we have this one that cleans up the overdrive. Then we have a boost in the treble. Then we have a tube like sound. And then the seventh button simulate placing the mic at the edge of the speaker. And the last one recreates placing the mic close to the speaker. And as you can see, they hold selection so you can do any type of combination. On top of this, we have an advanced panel again. We have a pre-drive filter, low cut and high cut. And then a three bands pull text style equalizer that can be placed pre or post drive. Without further ado, let's try this. Okay, if you ever use the Sansam pedal, you recognize immediately that kind of growl on bass. And like I said, this pedal was like all over the place, especially around the, the early 2000s for any uh, hard or heavy band. And that is the sound. On bass here, I'm not a fan of modern. It's pretty aggressive, even with the low end engaged. If I take it out, Actually, I prefer it without the low end engaged and just blend it with the dry signal because it has a nice mid range that way. Yeah, it's nice. I love the normal, it's just like the pedal and the bass too. It's really nice. Let's try to clean up the preamp, what happens? It definitely cleans up the distortion almost completely. It also kind of eats up a lot of low end. Let's try with this engaged. Mm -hmm. 
Now that's a nice sound. I'm pretty sure you noticed that when you use distortion on bass, the low end is always the tricky part. Either you have to filter it out from the distortion or run it in parallel. And even then it could be, there could be like face issues, but the sand sample always was so popular because you hear it even in the plugin, the low end is actually thicker and dynamically controlled. Let's try the other functions here. The tube is pretty subtle. Let's try with normal mode. It's interesting how they label these two buttons because to me this one darkens the signal and it, it sounds like you're placing the mic more uh, to the outer edge so it's darker while this one is a lot brighter. I mean, it's pretty obvious. So I don't know why they, they label them this way. I would have done the opposite, but whatever, anyway. It sounds really nice. Let's try it on guitars. This guitar already has a little bit of distortion on, but it definitely is versatile. I'm not a fan that it starts with that bright EQ by default, but let's try it on something else. You hear what I was saying about these two speakers and mic placement here? This is definitely darker. The combination, the fact that you can combine, it's, it's pretty cool though. The modern, it, it, it sounds like a, a very digital type of distortion. I'm not a fan of it, but the normal in the lead on guitar is also really cool.
And of course, back then, many engineers, including myself, used the Sansam to run drums through it, uh, either snares or I used to uh, create a mono aux with kick, snare, and toms and just crush it through the sans amp and then uh, tuck it in underneath the full drum and also to distort the vocals. And some people even use the pedal live. So let's try it on vocal really quick. Uh, we agree that I don't like the modern, so <laughs> we'll start with normal. Fire in my lungs can bite the devil on my tongue. Oh no, don't to be loved by you. See my lips on a mouth, everybody's talking now, baby. Ooh, you know it's true. That I was born to run, I don't belong to anyone. Oh no, don't need to be loved by you. I was born to run, I don't belong to anyone, oh no, don't need to be loved by you, fire in my lungs can... And I like the original pedal, but also the nature of a certain type of distortion. When you use it in parallel, pay attention because you can hear it right here, especially on vocals because we are so sensitive to human vocals because we hear it all the time. So anything that sounds a little off, we immediately recognize it. It, you can tell that when using the dry wet knob, at least from the plugin, you kind of have a little face shift. You kind of have a face shift and a random cancellation. Now, uh, you can try to run it in full wet on an aux channel, but sometimes it's just the nature of distortion. The, the nature of distortion just shifts the phase of a track regardless. Sometimes the overall sound, so the sum of the dry and the distorted, just sound good because they combine well and sometimes just like in this case at least uh, uh, listening to it in solo. It's kind of obvious that it's there but regardless I really like this plugin. I think especially on bass I'll be hard pressed to recognize like the original versus the plugin and they also added a bunch of different options and features that makes it even better. I didn't try it but it also has mid side. So this was Arturia Dist Op Amp 21. Let me know what you think in the comment down below and I hope you liked this video and if you did please don't forget to leave a like. And if the videos are helping you please consider the new function the super thanks down here and support the channel the link to the plugin is going to be in the info box down below thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already see you next time